Hello everybody and welcome back to the NK Maribor save. I'm coach Left Foot and today we're facing Man United in the Champions League quarter-finals and it's going to be pretty tough because uh, they're pretty damn good. They finished second in a third, sorry, in the league last year, managed by Mauricio Pochettino. Eventually they, he moved there. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty damn good. Second in the league at the moment, got some very good players. All their goals pretty much come from Aita Sanchez. A 25-year-old Spaniard up front, world-class striker. Some unbelievable stats that he's got. Been banging in the goals pretty consistently. I mean, Atletico Madrid before he moved to Man United, look at that. 29 in 37 and 26 in 34 is pretty damn impressive. Um, but 69 million got him a move to Man United and he's been there for three seasons and is doing very, very well. Other than him, Mateus Nielsen, the left winger, gets their goals as well. 30 years old, legendary winger. Yeah, he's pretty damn good. Again, two very good goal-scoring runs for Man United this season and last season. £56 million it cost to buy him from Real Madrid, so he is doing very, very well indeed. So that's who we're taking on, and I've only just realised I'm actually wearing my Man United shirt today. So will that be an omen to encourage the Old Trafford outfit? I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Anyway, let's crack into the game. We're going to be playing Man United. The first leg is away at Old Trafford. We'll come back for the second leg after we've played Labdob Draputja. Hopefully, after this first leg, we will still be in the tie and we can get a result. I mean, it's not a game, obviously, where we're going to go attacking. We're going to sit with a holding midfielder. Hodzic is going to be dropped into there. And that's, how we're... that's the formation we're going to use. Anyway, we're going to come off control. We're going to go to counter. Um, we're not necessarily going to play at a higher tempo. We'll sit at normal. We're going to sit fairly balanced as well. We'll keep it short of passing. Don't need to waste time just yet or anything like that. This is how we're going to play. So the team we're going to go for is Vigilante in goal, obviously. Zor at right back. The youngster is having a very good season this season. Centre backs, Djurakovic and Kovac say they play at the back. Left back is Lekic, of course. In the holding midfield row, we'll go with Vale. In front of him, we'll have our world-class midfielder, Lurch. And next to him, well, we're going to play Hodzic in there, I think, as the advanced playmaker. That's what we're going to do, I think. Is that what we're going to do? Or shall I play Socrates Cahello? I just... He's only 21. It could be a bit much for him. We've got Sabre Delushi as well. 23-year-old Tunisian. Um, do you know what? No, I'm going to start Hodzic. I should start Hodzic. He's absolutely amazing. On the right wing, we're going to be playing Valentin. On the left wing, will be Tejero. Actually, we're going to play Margotson against his old club. we got Robert Margotson on a free transfer from Man United. So hopefully, he can get a bit of revenge against a club that released him to us on a free transfer. Jean-Marie Roche will start up front. On the bench will be Gergic, Tejero, Blazic, uh, Sam Leffert, obviously. Gaza, the goalkeeper Pella. And we'll go with Markov and Debrushi. So we're only going to have one striker on the bench. That's how we're going to line up. We're playing on the counter. We're going to Old Trafford. We've selected one substitute. Oh, okay. We're not Debrushi then. There you go. Job done. Easy. So the game gets underway. We've told them to go and do it for the fans. And then we have faith in them. Let's see what we can do against this wonderfully mighty Man United team. And it's, uh, it's going to be tough. But hopefully we can stay in the game and get something out of it even a draw taking a draw back to Slovenia would be wonderful but Lee or Lair I don't know how you pronounce that has just cracked in a free kick from 25 yards so not really the start we wanted after 10 minutes I, I honestly think this is probably one of the hardest draws we could have got the English Premier League is still super strong in this series and uh, yeah Lee has just put Man United in front in a very full Old Trafford I mean I'm not even sure why Vigilante jumped I'll be covering goalkeepers in my Football Manager 18 wishlist video. Um, but yeah, so we might need to come off counter now. I think we're giving Man United a bit too much respect. As Lee's in again and fires it into the top corner. And he's not someone we picked out in the pre-game chat. Let's have a look at his stats. He's unbelievably good. Um, but he's a 34-year-old Brazilian. Been at Man United for years, to be honest. But... He's given them a 2-0 lead and it's a double from Lee. One free kick and then a nice finish round the corner from Sanchez. Not tracking his man. And Lee just left-footed nicely into the top corner. Vigilante's got absolutely no chance. And Man United are absolutely bossing us in this game. Lurch to Zor. Zor can he put a cross and he tries. But Diallo will clear and Sanchez is a little bit isolated up front. He's got runners coming towards him. But Kovac doesn't let him get the pass off. Popola... Picks it up. Lee flicks it onto nobody. Kovac keeps it in, which is an interesting decision. Vigilante forward. Margotson. 
Margotson crosses block. Lekic to Roche. Roche runs at the defence. Gets into the area. Shoots. Oh, he's hit the bar. And it's unlucky that oh, an away goal is would be brilliant now because we're 2-0 down. And if we can just stay in the game and nick an away goal and take a 2-1, possibly a 3-1 back to Slovenia, I think we'd be in with a chance. Neither winger is having a very good game. So we're going to tell him we want to see something else in the second half. What can we do to mix this up? Um, Hodzic isn't having a good... Hodzic is going to come off and he's going to replace by Blazic. We could just give up the holding... For, although Vale is having a pretty good game. We'll change him to a, a deep line playmaker. Let's just try and get the ball. We're doing a short passing. So let's see if we can get the ball and, and use it a little bit better. You want to be a central midfielder on attack. Let's get a few more men forward. Uh, we're going to, Margitson's going to come off and be replaced by Tejero. And we're going to go from there and see what we can do. Maybe we need to change the inside forwards as Valentin comes down. We're looking to pounce early. Lurch with a shot, misses, goes wide. But it's a positive start in the second half, a very positive start. I mean, again, Valentin not getting into it. Rosh not getting into it. It's just not coming off for us at the moment. We have got the players on the pitch to possibly go to a 4-4-2 diamond as Tejero flicks it to Valentin. Back out to Blazic, into Tejero, cross. Zor's there and fires it in. It's 2-1. The right back gets his first goal of the season. What a time to score it. Absolutely brilliant from Zor. Blazic with a cross in. He found Tahera. Tahera then pinged it low across the box. Zor, I think Tahera wasn't picking him out. I think he was just going for an area. And Zor has fired that in. And that makes it 2-1. And that is exactly what we needed this early on in the second half. And I could still mix it up a little bit. I think I'm going to, for the last 15 minutes, Valentin just has not been in this game at all. So he's going to actually we'll keep the formation the same. Markov can just come off. Uh, come on. The formation appears to be working now. And, uh, yeah, we're doing a rise. They've brought Lebrizon, who is the ex-Chelsea striker, who I was quite interested to sign quite a lot of times. But with five minutes to go, if we hold on at 2-1, I'll be pretty damn happy because I think we can nick a 1-0 win in Slovenia. As Nielsen swings it in and it's headed away, Diallo will try and get there for United. To Mugni, into Thompson. Thompson turns to the defence, Lay, looking for a hat-trick, remember, into Salah's feet, cross back to Lay, he's there, great save from Vigilante to deny in the hat-trick, as Labriz goes back to Thompson, there's about 10 seconds left in the game, Dracovic heads it clear, we just need to hold out, Jimenez to Nielsen, Nielsen tackled well by Zor, Osh can't get on the end of it, and it is full time, and I will take a 2-1 loss at Old Trafford. We have done very well there. We have done very well. Despite the result, as it said, I was happy with their performance. Very, very good. We uh, were edged out in a tight contest. So we could, we could do it back at the Left Foot Park Stadium in uh, Left Foot Park Stadium. No, Left Foot Park is what it's called in Slovenia. We just have to see how it goes. So we're going to play against Labdor Drabputcha offline and we'll be back for that second leg. Will the season be continuing in Europe or... Are Man United going to be the team that knock us out before we have that big fire sale of all the players? So, I'll see you guys in just a sec. It's the second leg. We are taking a 2-1 aggregate defeat. That's not the words I was looking for, but it'll do. 2-1 <laughs> loss to Left Foot Park. It's going to be a struggle. We're going to stick with the same formation and pretty much the same team. Uh, Blazic is going to come in to start ahead of Hodzic in that centre midfielder attacking role. We're starting on control. We're going to play slightly narrower, but still trying to exploit the flanks. And that's what we're going to do. It's going to be very tough. Sam Leffert needs to go back on the bench, just because, obviously. I need to give him lots of game time. And, uh, yeah, Vigilante is in goal. Zor, Garza, Kovac and Lekic are the back four. Garza comes in to replace Djurakovic. Vale, Lurch and Blazic in the middle. Valentin on the right. Margaretson on the left. And Rosh up front. On the bench, we have Pella, Djurakovic, Hodzic, Vukum Gergic, Leftfoot, Cohelo, and Tejero. And we're going to get into the game. Have everything crossed. So let's just, you know, hope for the best. See what happens. Let's put goal replays back on so that we can see them in 3D when they go in. Wow, here we go. So Lee was the killer of us last time. Two goals in the game. Sanchez up front. We kept him pretty quiet. They replaced him with Labriz. Let's have a look at Labriz. Here he is. Getting on a bit at 33. We tried to sign him when he was at Chelsea. He ended up moving for 32.5 million to Man United. If we can get through this, I think we could win it. I honestly think we could win it again, win the Champions League again, if we get past Man United. So here we go. We're going to ask him what to do. Uh, Lee, we're actually going to tackle Lee very hard as well because I don't like him um, after he scored two goals. And we're going to go out there, go out there, and do I say we owe Man United? 
Uh, yeah, let's go and say, yeah, see, they love that. They love that. Love a bit of that. All stay assertively as well and say that we have faith in them. Let's go out there and get us the win. Now, come on, boys. You're over that white line. It's all up to you. As we come forward and Gaza straight away gives it away, that is not what we like to see. We do have a bit of a fitness issue. Uh, Kovac and Valentin starting a little bit down on fatigue, or a little bit of fatigue. Not as much as Man United, though. They are looking a lot worse than us for fatigue. But Blazic loses the ball when it comes to Sanchez. Shoots from range, goes wide. Not troubling Vigilante in net at all. But, yeah, we just need to... Make sure that we keep this moving forward. Again, one goal puts us through. If we can keep a clean sheet and score one, we are through into the semi-finals of the Champions League. We just need to create that one chance. We are playing okay. We're letting Man United have a bit more of the possession. We have only had one shot on target, though, which is a bit of a concern. Nosh, again, not really getting into the game, which is a tad annoying. Obviously, he's going to be one of the people that will be sold in the fire sale at the end of this season. But Thompson picks up the ball on the edge for Man United. Salah in. Zor with a good head of clearance. Valentin runs for it. He was superb in our game offline against Labdog Plutcher. Although we drew 0-0, we couldn't score past them. Um, he was superb. Zor gets beaten by Nielsen to the ball. Vale with a good tackle. He's picked up an early yellow card, which we'll have to keep an eye on. As Limero with a good interception. Sanchez is a bit far out again. Shoots wide once again. And... Uh, yeah, we're just not... We, well, possession has swung around a bit. We've had a bit more of the ball. Um, and we're getting a few more shots in. I'm actually going to take Rosh off for Vukum Gergic. And tell the player... I'm going to let Pedersen go out there and tell them to go and prove a point. Assertively. You weren't that bad. I've got faith. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, yeah. Let's tell... I can't... Our individual team talk. Passionately. There's a lot more to come from you. I know you've got what it takes. You can do it, Vukum Gergic. You can get us that goal. We can always flip it around as well and take the holding midfielder off. Probably will do if we haven't scored with about 20 minutes to go. Take off Vale and uh, push Hodgic a little bit forward into the advanced playmaker role. But we've just got to see how it goes. Popola, ball looking for Lee, but Lekic wins the header. Vale picks that up. He is marshalling in front of the defence very well, it seems. Margotson. Can he find Vukum Gergic? He does. Who turns? He runs into the box. He beats one. Back to Margotson. Shoots Valentin. Oh... Straight at Shea, he had a like the other half of the goal he could have aimed at, and he's put it straight at Shea. That could have been the goal that we needed. Vilkom Gergic already starting off better than uh, Rosh was doing, but we are still lacking that goal that we need. Once again, we've kept Sanchez quiet and they've brought Labriz on. I think we're gonna have to force the issue a little bit here. Valentin not having a brilliant game might put. Margotson on the right will take Valentin off for Tejero. I think that's what we're going to do. Blazic for Hodzic. Hodzic sits in that attacking midfield role as an advanced playmaker up there. We'll put him on support so we're not chucking too many men forward. Vale as a central midfielder on. Right now, but do, yeah, this play, we'll play a double deep line playmaker. That's what we'll go for with. Go with that because we are still keeping the ball. We have had a lot of possession, 51% of possession throughout the whole game as Gergic wins the header to Blasi. She's fouled by Maguni. This could be a second yellow. It's a second yellow. Maguni's off. This swings the pendulum in our favour. Hodzic to Lurch. To Zor shoots. Oh, Lurch gets it back. Cross block. To Hero picks it up. Keeps it in play. Ball goes in. Hodzic picks up the clearance. To Zor. To Lurch. Back to Hodzic. To Tahero. This is a good move, but. Just couldn't stick it in. We've used all three subs with 20 minutes to go. Do we go attacking? I think we do. I think we go attacking for the last 18 or so minutes. We just need that goal. And United are leaving themselves open in the middle of the park here. There's 10 minutes to go. Seven minutes to go. We're going to exploit the middle because that's where they're weak. We're going to push really high up. Increase the tempo. We'll go to a bit of a balanced stuff. Let's uh, we'll work it into the box. We will mix up the parking. No, we're going to stay short passing. That's that's always worked. We'll close them down a hell of a lot. We've just got to put the effort in. That's what we've got to do. Let's get stuck into them. Come on. We just need one goal. We have pretty much dominated this game. It's the 92nd minute. It's all over. United stood firm. We go out. Oh, it's, it's unlucky. I'm so unlucky. I mean, if you look at the stats... Look at those stats. 20 shots to 10. We had 8 on target, target there, 3. Oh, neither team at the woodwork. We created a click-up chance and missed it. We created more half chances. Yeah, it's just disappointing to go out like that. But I think they'll go on and win it, to be honest. I think they will. But we made the quarterfinals, which isn't... It's not a bad stint. Um, we've done all right in the competition. It's been a good run. Quarterfinals is good. 
it's going to be even tougher next year when we sell all of those players that we have um, who are sort of world class. If we have a quick look, out of that starting eleven, we can keep Zor, Lekic, Blazic, and that's it. We can keep three of those starting eleven. Oh my word, it's going to be very, very tough. Even on the bench, we can keep. Oh, I think we can. Can we keep Vilken Goes? No, we can't really. He hasn't been at the club long enough, really, for us to keep him. Um, Hodzic, I don't think. No, he's. We'll have to sell Hodzic. Dracovic will go. Pella, even Pella, who is Slovenian, but he has to go because we bought him from Selge. So he's going to go. Sam Leffert will obviously stay. Cahello can stay. Tejero is going to be sold. Markov will be sold. Lazaro's already been, been sold. Williams will stay. Zagar will stay. Regazzoni's got to be sold. And Delushi can stay. So. Yeah, we're losing a hell of a lot of our first team and we're not obviously allowed to buy any other players because this is a youth challenge. But there we go. We'll be back. It looks like we're going to win the semi-final of the Cup because we take a 4-1 lead. So we'll be back for the Cup final. And then I think if you guys let me know down below, I'm tempted to do an episode over the summer transfer window where we sort of see which players we sell. I don't know. I might Or I might just go straight into the next season. I am, as I said, once this season finishes after the cup final, once we've played that cup final, I'm just going to save the game and then it's going to be uploaded somewhere onto a Dropbox or a Google Drive and I'll put a link in the description of the couple of next episodes and it'll be free for you guys to download. Hopefully you like that. If you do like that idea, leave a like on the video. Why not? And if you're new, uh, hit the subscribe button because it's always good. The subscribe count is still going up um, and we're looking forward to Foot Manager 18 together. But... Yeah, and then you'll have to let me know how you get on once you play this save. And if you are interested in playing this save after I finish with it, again, let me know down below because I need to know how many people actually will play it if I put it available to download. But we're going to leave it there. As I said, we'll be back for the cup final. I don't know who the other semi-final is against. But it looks like Olympia, Lub oh, Olympia Ljubljana have gone through. So it looks like it's going to be us. We are big rivals in Slovenia of Olympic Ljubljana. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll be back for in the next game. So... Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, it's a shame we've lost it. Maybe I had the wrong shirt on. I should have put the Maribor shirt on. But there you go. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll chat to you all very, very soon. But for now, I am out. Cheers.